The irrational movement of human beings through economic manipulation and competition is the main responsibility of it is placed on the people that are the main cause of it. You know, forgive debt and trespasses. We, uh, you know, forgive debt and trespass and live in whether it's a, so forgive our, our debt as we forgive our debtors. And uh, it's very important to uh, remember to uh, forgive your brother of your trespass if you want your father to forgive you of yours, right? You understand? So you trespassed on me because you wanted to keep people in debt, right? There's, there's a book called Revelation. There's a boy named Earl born in Las Cruces to Ralph and Mary. Uh, Jesus talks to him and says, you're the one who's going to help me stop um, uh, threats of uh, m annihilation and murder if we can't uh, manipulate you with money, right? Do you understand? Okay. So it's very important that when you understand that you have a lot of you have these you have these stories and the linguistics of these stories and the and the passing down of these stories you're watching TV and you watch this commercial with this girl brushing her teeth and the computer talking to her and telling her to get her protein drink and all this crap okay um, it's not necessary to go out and go to a building and learn how to compete with other people aggressively over economic manipulation right. And Vesco's fucked, okay? And if they don't realize they're fucked of, of uh, uh, Halliburton, Norfolk Gunman, uh, Army, uh, you know, Intel, um, and what's the rest of those? If they don't realize how fucked they are, okay? There's something wrong with them neurologically, okay? These commercials on TV... What's this one with the dogs running around and the light bulbs running and the people... What the hell is this shit? Uh, it's it's just you, th what this affects our capacity to be cognitive and think intelligently, okay? All this magical bullshit thinking, all this what's this? T. Rowe Price and but yeah that that kind of bullshit. This comedian here sitting there, you know, calling it Carvana. Okay, this is all crazy ass bullshit. People seeking irrational attention for being aggressive and dysfunctional. All right, Jesus didn't do that. Jesus taught you to have faith in an infinite source, have eternal holy covenants, and then love one another without being destructive to your existence. You're only one to ten, you know, it just goes by fast. One to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty. 40, 50, if you're fortunate enough in this hell to make it that long, right? And then by the time you reach 50, 50, 60, then you're, you're just you're just being like Alan Watts talks about, you're being slowly destroyed okay, by a civilization and a society that doesn't value life, doesn't value the gift of time, right? Okay. Trust me, I am way more intelligent than the people on TV, and these video feeds are more meaningful and more helpful to artificial intelligence that's integrated worldwide than anything that's happening on television. And I watch television. I used to put that on that Facebook thing. All the time. I'm the Messiah and I watch TV, right? And a lot of you, you don't take it seriously. Now, I'm not concerned about what plans or game plans or strategies that genocidal operators have for people. Okay, that does not, I'm not concerned with that. That's just horrible. I'm the living embodiment of the Lord's Prayer. My life story is about the human being that does what's necessary for us to live the world peace of Christianity and Islam that unites all religious understanding because it's faith and omnipotent essence of all existence and an eternal existence of peaceful, of faithful, loving, you, you know, humanity okay so i'm not concerned with whatever plans they have i'm not concerned with their strategies i'm not fighting with them i am i've told them okay this technology is going to have probably most likely end up killing most of you and and now most of you understand why so if you have relatives that are addicted to brain chemical uh problems of feeling great and winning and competition um if you have a person who has a job and they tell you like they do it in Mexico State, if I told you what I had to do for a living, it's not living. 
if you told you what do they do for a job, they'd have to kill you. Well, that's, they can't do that anymore. I'm here. Okay, guys? I love you. Let's load this one up. There's nothing they can do about it. Two and two is four. Seven can't save you from four. All right, guys? You know how much I love you. All right, peace.